Chris Farfoy. To speak, I stand in support of uh, this bill, uh, and I think um, the reason as to why it has got uh, widespread uh, support across this House is that the, uh, everyone in this House acknowledges that when um, communities look bad, they feel bad, uh, and that we do need to take some action to make sure that our communities are looking uh, as good as they can. So I do want to uh, congratulate uh, the Lower Hutt City Council and Mayor uh, Ray Wallace and also uh, my Wellington uh, colleague uh, Trevor Mallard uh, for bringing this bill to the House. It does give uh, local bodies, uh, the Lower Hutt City Council, uh, and in fact, uh, the right uh, to remove graffiti from private property. Um, and this is an issue that is not just, uh, as many members have already mentioned, uh, particular um, to uh, the Lower Hutt. It is also an issue in, uh, in um, specific parts of my electorate in Mana. Uh, and I do want to acknowledge that uh, while this gives the, um, the Hutt City Council the ability to crack down further on um, graffiti, um, that we do need to acknowledge the work that has already been done uh, to eradicate graffiti, um, the work that has been done by uh, our local bodies and also by our police to crack down on those people uh, who think it's uh, uh, wise and fun. Uh, to uh, go out there and um, tag uh, public and private uh, property. And I do uh, agree with um, uh, my other Wellington colleague, the Honourable Annette King, uh, that there is uh, an element of um, cats spraying their territory uh, with tagging, and uh, the sooner that we can take down uh, graffiti uh, from public places, um, we can crack down on these, uh, on these people. I'm not sure if they're not all necessarily young, but most would be young. Uh, that may lead on to uh, a higher level of, uh, of offending. So in that respect, it is making uh, communities uh, feel much, much safer. I do want to acknowledge that Trevor Mallard in his first reading speech said that this uh, effort is um, uh, a success, uh, could be extended out uh, beyond uh, the Lower Hutt City Council uh, area. And uh, as the member for Mana, I have had uh, conversations with the Porirua City Council officers and also councillors and the mayor, and they would be very keen uh, for these uh, powers to be extended to them uh, if indeed that uh, uh, the, uh, the Lower Hutt City um, graffiti um, experience with this bill uh, is a successful one. But I do also want to acknowledge the work that the Paurirua City Council is doing. Um, Holly Walker spoke earlier about a rapid uh, removal of, um, of graffiti and the Paurirua City Council is certainly on top of that, uh, but also looks to uh, implement positive things in the community uh, such as murals, which murals which have also been uh, suggested uh, in this debate already uh, to ensure that there is uh, a good look and good feel uh, uh, about a community and therefore um, you know, brings the spirits of the community up and also as Trevor Mallard spoke of uh, before, um, it does also have an effect on property prices. I think we've all been um, in this House uh, victims of graffiti, usually about every three years when um, election time comes around. Uh, we are uh, victims of graffiti. I put a, um, a hoarding up on my house and uh, 45 minutes later someone had got to it. I went inside the house and there you go. Someone had managed... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, Trevor Mallard's still using his photo for 1995, I believe. So, um, 1987, sorry. Uh, so uh, there is a fair bit of airbrushing that needs to go on. I should uh, stop t talking for too long in, in that respect. Um, but as I say, this bill is something that could be uh, broadened out, and I would welcome the opportunity uh, for this to be um, stretched out to uh, the Potidur City Council. And as I've mentioned, um, uh, we would certainly welcome that um, both me as a local electorate MP and the local uh, body um, representatives. Um, I do want to uh, thank the uh, local uh, government um, uh, select committee. I've made some, what Trevor Mallard has said, is some, some practical changes to the bill. I think uh, the fact that we're making it much more explicit in the bill uh, what graffiti is, um, and also that we have to have a much more explicit um, system around notification for those people who are private property owners uh, who we are going to contact within this bill and also making sure that the officers within the councils have to identify themselves uh, explicitly. I think those are all practical um, bill, um, measures in the bill which have come uh, through the select committee stage uh, which, uh, uh, which are fitting. Um, but as I say, I think uh, for the three uh, local body uh, uh, bodies uh, in my electorate, both uh, the Wellington City Council, the Porirua City Council and the Kaupiti Coast District Council would all welcome uh, being given these powers if the Lower Hutt City Council experience is, uh, is a successful one. Uh, there are some property owners within the Mana electorate who, uh, who have um, defied uh, requests from the council to try and get on their property to remove uh, a significant amount of graffiti and while this doesn't compel them to, to remove um, 
that graffiti. It does give the local body another option uh, to try and remove the eyesore from, uh, from the public view. So um, in terms of uh, making sure we uh, crack down on that looks bad, feels bad factor, I think this is a positive thing and I think uh, the acknowledgement from across the House uh, that this is a positive thing uh, means that we can all stand here uh, within this Parliament today and support this, uh, uh, this move uh, by the Lower Hutt City Council and, uh, and my uh, Wellington colleague, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, National supports this bill, the Hutt City Council graffiti removal.